Okay, in this video we'll be looking at the 2015 AP free response question at number three. I'm not going to read the question, I'm going to assume that you have. I'm getting right down to A part. What is the probability that at least one ATM is working when the mall opens? Well, this is the zero ATM situation and the rest of these would be one or more. So the probability that X is greater than or equal to one is going to be the sum of these three individual probabilities. 0.21 plus 0 0.40 plus 0.24. All right, and summing those three numbers is 0.85. Likewise, you could take 1 minus 0.15 and get that. 85% chance that at least one of the ATMs is working. What is the expected value of the number of ATMs? Well, from our formula chart, the expected value of X, which is also called the mu or mean of X, is equal to the sum of each x value, x sub i, times the associated probability. In this situation, it's the product of each one of these summed. So 0 times 0 0.15 plus 1 times 0 0.1, 0 0.21 plus 2 times 0.4 plus 3 times 0.24 and that sum is approximately 1.73. Thank you. All right. What is this 1.73? It is the long run average. That is, if if we went in there to the mall a, a million times and added up the number of ATMs and divided by a million, it would approach 1.73. There will never be a time that 1.73 ATMs are open because clearly that's the number of ATMs will be an integer value, but our expected value can indeed be and oftentimes is a decimal. All right, C, what is the probability that all three ATMs are working given that at least one is open, working? So we want the probability um, that X is gonna be precisely three given that X is um, greater than or equal to one. All right, well, It is that both of these things happened, assuming that it's the greater than one. So in this case, our denominator is this 0.85, all right? The denominator here is going to be 0.85. We're, our whole world is this area here, okay? Given that we're here, what's the chance of it being precisely this one? Well, the, the numerator in this case is 0.24. So 0.24 divided by 0.85, and that is approximately 0.28. So you can see that um, it increased slightly because we've we've um, totally neglected this 15% situation that zero happened. All right, D. Given that at least one ATM is working when the mall opens, would the expected value of the number of ATMs that are working be less than, equal to, or greater than the expected value from part B? Well, I hope it's obvious to you that if, if this thing doesn't occur, if we're never gonna get zero and we're just going to be here, then it's going to increase, all right? it makes perfect sense that our new expected value would be greater. Well, how would we uh, calculate that? Well, um, our new denominator, instead of considering one here, our new denominator is this 0.85. We'll take our old expected value, which is, I'm gonna call this our expected value new. 
is gonna be our old expected value, 1.73, and we're gonna divide by 0.85, all right? That's the, um, our entire set precluding this value there. So 1.73 divided by 0 0.85, that's two point, approximately 2.04. And, and just intuitively, this makes perfect sense. You know, think about your, your grades. If you um, threw out all the zeros that you had, wouldn't indeed your average be higher? That's what we have here. 15% of our situation were zeros, 21% were ones, 40% were twos, 24% were threes. Well, we're throwing out that 15% of zeros. Naturally, our expected value would be higher. We need to say that our expected value increases as we have eliminated the 15 percent of time zero ATMs. We're working. All right, that concludes uh, question number three.